guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you will learn on how to make an interactive Canva website. So the very first thing that you should do here is you just have to open any of your web browser. And then you just have to visit the canva.com website and you have to sign up for an account. And then if you want to download the application, so you can download the application as well and install it on your desktop. Okay, so right here. As you can see, I already signed up for an account and now if you want to access all of the features here on Canva, you have to subscribe to a pro plan. So just click on your profile at the bottom left and then go to the plans and pricing. Okay, and then you just have to select your plan. Okay, now right here after that, you'll be able to see here now all of your projects. So here we're just going to select the templates option. And then using the search bar, we just have to type out website. Okay, and here you have an option if you want to create a website from scratch or create a blank website. Or I can also utilize all of the templates that you can see here. Okay, so for example, this template. So when you see this icon, this crown icon, it means that this one can be used only if you have subscribed to a pro plan. So since we are not subscribed to a pro plan yet, we're just going to use the free template. So I'm going to use this one. So you just have to click on the template and click on the customize this template and another tab will open. Okay, so as you can see right here, we only have one page for this website. Okay, so for this page, we already have all of these details, right? Now, what we are going to do here is to add other pages. So we're just going to copy all of the details and the designs of each uh, section on the first page. So for example, this one right here, so this would be our homepage. So what we're going to do first is to add here um, the different navigations at the top. Okay, so for example, just have to click on this one and then click on the notes option at the bottom and then we are going to name this um, page one as your home page okay so this would be the home page and then we're just going to check if we have successfully added the navigation option at the top so we have this option right here okay now for the next page we have this what we offer section so here you can add your product or features or service so you can use this one so you just have to customize this section so what I'm going to do now is just to copy everything that you can see here okay so I'm just going to copy that one then I'm going to add a new page right here and then paste all of those details okay I'm going to copy the background as well and then proceed here and I'm just going to paste the design. Now for our second page, I'm going to name this one as product page. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the notes option. Okay, so I'm just going to name this one as product page. Okay, and then after that, you just have to close that. Now let's go back on our first page. Okay, so I just have to preview this one. If we can see here now the different navigation bar at the top. So when you click on the home page, you'd be directed to your first page. And when you click on the product page, you'd be directed to your next page. Okay, so now that we already have the same um, details. So let's go back to the first page and we are going to remove this section. So you just have to simply click on it and click on delete. Now for our next page, we are going to use this one. So I'm just going to copy the um, background color first. And here I'm just going to paste it right here. And then next thing that I'm going to do now is to copy these details. Okay, so you just have to copy everything and then go back here. And then you just have to paste it. Okay, so you just have to do the same now that we already have this in our third page. I'm just going to delete this section. Okay. So I just have to select everything and then just have the copy. Then you can also click on the delete to delete everything immediately. Okay, so now for our third page, what we're going to do is to give this page a name. 
tape so i'm just going to put here maybe um since this is our um third page um let's say our services okay so services you just have to close it after that now let's finish um everything before we preview it once again so i'm going to select this one go to the fourth page and then paste here the design you go back here and then i just have to copy this one as well okay so now we are already on our fourth page so for this one i'm just going to name this one as our mission or vision okay just have to close it after that now i'm just going to delete this section now for our fifth page we have the signature services so we're just going to um copy everything once again okay so just have to copy it and then go to the fifth page just have to paste here the design and then just have to copy the elements okay now we are on the fifth page so i'm just going to paste it right here okay now for the fifth page maybe i'm just going to name this one as let's say just signature okay signature services so just have to close it after that now let's go back here and then remove that section from the first page okay so we have a couple of pages left so just going to skip that part and try to preview our edit okay so click on the preview at the top as you can see we have successfully added different navigation options at the top right of your screen so when you click on the product page you'd be directed to that page as well as for the services the mission and then the signature services now in order for you to make these options or navigation options at the top you have to make sure that you have checked this box right here to include the navigation menu okay so if you are going to uncheck this one you cannot find these options at the top so your customers doesn't have any options to visit the other pages of your website so make sure to click on it okay and then let's try to preview it using the mobile view as well so we have this menu at the top so we have successfully added here the navigation bars after that you just have to click on the publish website okay so just wait for a couple of seconds and then make sure to include those navigation menu when you publish your website okay so click on the publish after that so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye